again. Glad to be back with you. Today I've got a statics problem, and this one's on figuring out forces uh, in a system of pulleys. And I've got a what looks like a fairly complicated problem here, but as we work through it, you're going to find out it's actually not that bad. I've got a weight of 10,000 newtons hanging from this system of pulleys, okay? And I've got the pulleys labeled A, B, and C, just because I've got to name them something. And I've got a force here that's unknown, and the goal is to find the force. So using GFSA format, we're going to go given, find, solution, answer. So this is the given. All right, we know all this stuff right here. We're assuming the pulleys are frictionless and all the things we need to assume to make the problem simple. And we're going to need to find the force F, the tension in that rope. How hard do you have to pull on this to lift that? That's the whole point of a system of pulleys like that, is to magnify the force at this end so you can lift more here than the force there. All right. Now, if you're used to looking at this, you're going to find out that this is a four to one mechanical advantage. This is going to be a, this force there is going to be a quarter of that because that pulley and that pulley move and each divides the force by half. Once you get used to looking at this, you're going to notice this. But let's go through the numbers and show you why it's the case, why this is true. So solution. All right, now, where do you start with a problem like this? You know what the weight is on this end, and you need to find the force on the other end. So you think, well, maybe I'm going to have to work through all these pulleys. And that's one way to do it. In fact, the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to use what's essentially um, the method of joints here, and I'm going to find out what's going on at this pulley, and then this one. Now, this one isn't moving, and all this, this one serves to do is uh, take the vertical force of this pulley and, and reverse it. It doesn't add any mechanical advantage. So once I figure out what's going on at pulley B, I'm pretty much good to go. So to start here, let's look at pulley A. All right, And let's look at the forces acting on this. This is kind of like the method of joints, like I said. So I've got a force down of a thousand, or I'm sorry, 10,000 newtons. Okay, That's the force of exerted by the weight, and I've got the tension of these cables here, or this one cable, but since it's coming up on that side and that side, I can cut it right there if I want. That's actually almost like the method of sections, isn't it? And I'm going to call that TA and that TA, tension at pulley A, all right? Well, let's, let's also, let's put a uh, coordinate system. This is the positive sign convention here, all right? Got to make sure you put that on your drawing. And let's, let's start adding up the forces in the vertical direction. Well, the sum of the forces in the y direction has to be zero, or our uh, pulley's in motion. This is a static problem. There's no motion, so the sum of the vertical forces has to be zero. And so I'm going to, right from there, I'm going to say that 2ta minus 10,000 newtons has to equal zero. All right, we'll solve that. It's pretty obvious that ta is going to be 5,000 newtons. It's going to be half of the weight there. All right, so you can see how this magnification thing is going to work. So now I know what I've got that one covered. Let's go to pulley B now. Let's make sure I can stay in frame here. Okay, I'm good to go. All right, so pulley B. All right, I'm going to do the exact same thing, only now instead of the weight down, I have the force of the the tension in the cable down. All right, so that's 5,000 newtons. I know that. And same thing. Now I've got FB, and now I've got FB over here. All right, so same thing. I can write the vertical force is 2FB. The, the vertical force down is 5,000 newtons. And so I can write 2FB equals 5,000 newtons. So that means FB is going to be 2,500 newtons. All right. So now I know what's going on there. Now let's look at pulley C. Right. The tension, in, the tension in the, in the cable there, and the tension in the cable there are exactly the same. So F must equal FB. All right. So now that I know, let's see. Let's put some. Let's. let's uh, Let's see, draw some underlines there just to make sure I use the format correctly. All right, so now that I know FB equals F, I've got my answer now. Now, normally I would go through the, a sheet of paper and I would put this at the bottom. Because I'm on the board here, I'm going to have to do some erasing. In fact, let's just do this. Let's, let's see if I can squeeze it in here. Okay, now this isn't completely except kosher here, but if this is because of the space limitations, I'll do this. 
or sorry, F equals 2,500 newtons. And draw a box around it. So there you go. This isn't too hard. Started out with a fairly complicated system of pulleys, worked our way through it using just basic static, some of the vertical forces equal zero, and backed all the way out to figure out what the tension in that cable is. That's how hard you have to pull. So using this system of pulleys, I can exert 2,500 newtons of force here and lift 10,000 newtons. All right, hope that helps, and I'll see you next time.